Hello guys, welcome to another video. This one is actually unexpected for me. It wasn't part of my plans. However, I wanted to share valuable information for you using UI Document Picker controller and save you hours of debugging. Let me tell you a little bit about it. One of the subscribers, Podcast Kusa, reported to me in a video that I made some time ago about UI view controller representable and read a PDF. Works fine in a simulator, however, it's not working properly in a real device. Let's understand why this is happening and how to solve it. And by the way, Botgan, I really appreciate your feedback about it. Thank you. Let's start and find out how to avoid this issue and save you a lot of time of work. My name is Pete and this, this is Safe and Tips. Okay, here we are in our previous demo about UI view controller representable. It's literally the same. And by the way, if you want to know more about UI view controller representable, I will leave you the video in the description and in the card. Because well, in terms of that video, everything is fine. The bug that we're going to see here is related to UI document picker view controller. And it's very specific to some requirements that we need to add here. And one last thing, if you are seeing my camera angle different is because I am recording directly from the MacBook Air and I'm not using my iPhone to record my face because I require to run the application in the same letter M. I don't have the budget to have many cameras at the same time. Anyway, let's focus on the content here and let's try to run this application to see just what was the expected behavior here. The only thing we have is just a button to select a document from a UI document picker view controller, which is wrapped in a UI view controller representable. And here we can select a PDF from this directory. So we select that and boom, or PDF, it's here, right? There's nothing wrong here. Okay, let's try to do now the same thing, but in a real device. Okay, finally we have the application in a real device. This is an iPhone 10. Let me select a new PDF. Let's select the same one from before. And you will see a blank screen this time. Yeah, it's not working. It's nothing, oh, it's loading. No, 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 it's not working at all. And the worst thing is that we are not getting any error or feedback in the console. Everything looks good right this is the problem with this debugging there's not so much information right away to say hey this is an error because maybe you're broken any condition whatever that's the big issue here there is not so much information about it and in fact i just discovered that the same question is over and over in stack overflow however it turns out that the only documentation that we have for this issue comes from apple when a piece of two documents they say that since ios 13 now UI document picker, it's the way to get access to external documents, but those documents are protected against the usage of anyone. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Okay, let me go to document picker and here is the magic to set up what is the type of documents we want to read. In this case, we want a PDF and here we have this coordinator object that handles all the delegate operations. For example, here we have this document picker delegate and here we are getting the URL from this document. We are receiving a set of URLs because we could select more than one document at the same time. But for our example, we are just filtering the first one because it's just a single object which we are selecting. Okay, here is the magic. However, here is the problem. Technically speaking, this is wrong. According to Apple, this URL is protected. And why is protected? Well, for many reasons. One of them is because maybe this URL is accessed by another app or another service. So we need to make sure that we are reading our file in a secure way. That's why this URL needs to be handled securely. For that, we have two methods. One, to start accessing this URL another one to stop. In other words, we have one method to allow you to start accessing this document and other one to close your connection with your document. And then the system shouldn't have to be worried about the document 
for this application anymore and then free the resource for anyone else that wants to access your documentation. This is a pretty basic example, but that's the idea. So let's do that. We have here the validation of the URL. Then let's add these two other validations. Well, the only thing here to do is creating a car statement and invoke this star method. And for that, we need to use star accessing security scope resource. And then if you want, you can validate or throw an error or whatever you want here. I don't want to do it just to simplify the things right now, but yeah, in this else, you can do whatever you want to handle that situation. Now at the end, we can just use URL.stop.accessing.security.scope.resource. Pretty simple. However, I would recommend not do this. Instead of just leaving this at the end of your code, it is better to making sure that that statement will be executed after all other operations. To make sure about it, we can use defer. Defer is a statement to leave this execution until the end. It doesn't matter if this is in line 40 and your code is in line 44. With this, you always execute the stop method at the end. So if you add more information here or other more complicated things, then your URL is secure to be stopped at some point. Okay, let's see if this is working. Okay. Let's select our PDF. And yeah, it's still not working. And I will tell you why. I made this on purpose because I was doing this mistake. Let me show you what is happening. The point of this secure access to your resource, in this case, this PDF document, we need to make sure that we are doing something with that URL and then once we use it and close it, we cannot use that URL anymore. So here we are assigning to this binding URL object, this secure URL. However, when we go here to PDF component, we cannot use this URL anymore because it's not secure, it's protected by the system. Unfortunately, the system is not giving us any other feedback. So yeah, this is so weird. And if you don't know what you are doing, you will be stuck for hours like me. So instead of doing that secure operation in document picker, let's do it here right away. And now instead of just a simple return, we need to return the PDF if something is wrong. Okay, there we go. Let's try again. Let's select the PDF one more time. And yeah, we finally can see this PDF. Awesome. Yeah, it's totally fine. I can see the Coliseum. Awesome. However, before closing, let me just tell you one more thing. This is working because first, we are only reading our local storage. And second, no one else is reading our PDF. In real life, you don't know when other application or system will handle your resource at the same time. Or for example, if you are working with iCloud, if you need to work with a URL in iCloud, then that URL maybe it's not ready for you. So yeah, there are many situations in which you need to make sure that uh, the system will give you the URL and free to any other resources ac accessing that information. For that level of protection, besides of accessing or start the accessing and stop the accessing, you also need to use something called file coordinator. You can read more in the documentation that I will leave in the description, but in short, it's just another object that will help you coordinating that your resource is ready for you. Let me show you here how to use it. We need to declare an NS error to handle any situation and then create an instance of ns file coordinator. Let's call a method coordinate and then we need to pass this URL. We are not going to use any option here. We're going to pass the address of this error. And then here we have a closure to access the resource. 
However, we have an issue here because we have this closure to access the resource, the URL, and we need to return a new PDF view in this make UI view. So for this particular case, I think it's better just to refactor our code a little bit. Instead of doing all this action right away here in the make UI, let's bring everything to document picker from our delegate object and then just instead of passing a URL for the document, let's pass the actual PDF document for this UI view representable. So let's do that and you will see that now we have the flexibility to do whatever we want with this closure and assign just the binding object right away there. So let's do it. Let me copy and paste this. And then here, let's replace URL for document. Let's paste here the secure approach. Now, instead of passing the URL, let's use also here the document. Then let's put this statement inside of the closure. Now here we can use just document and then create here the PDF document. Now we don't need the URL outside of here. It's just used in the closure. So let's bring this inside of the closure. Pretty nice. Let's refactor the rest of the code. Now, finally, we need to make PDF document identifiable. For this example, let's do it really easy and just create an ID for that PDF document. In this case, for PDF document, the ID will be an UUID. Of course, there are many ways to do it. Just for the purpose of the demo, that's a little bit simple. Yeah, it's compiling. So let's run it one more time. Okay, let's see one more time if everything is working. Awesome. Yeah, the document is still working, but now we are doing the correct things, accessing or resource in this case, locally in the phone, the system is not having any issue providing this PDF. This is also a rule for any kind of document that you want to read from your local storage, but also in iCloud. Remember, there is more documentation in the description and also the code here if you want just to check it out for you. So tell me, what do you think about it? Honestly, I learned a lot about UI document picker B controller. It's really useful to know these kind of things when Xcode is not providing you so much information. So yeah, I really hope this could help you in your real life development. And thank you to all the people that helped me a lot with this demo. That's it for me. Thank you so much and have a great day.